No, but here's what I would say is we need to always honor it. Ask the pastor. Is it okay to take communion every day? Linda, great question. And my simple answer is yes. When the Apostle Paul teaches us this and he talks about it uh, when he's talking to the church of Corinth and he says, as oft as ye do this, do this and remember me. Communion, uh, even though we know it's something sacred in the church that we do, but communion is also something that we do in remembrance of what Christ did for us on the cross and the new covenant that has been now set in place for us as believers. So is there a problem taking it? No, but here's what I would say is we need to always honor it. We don't want it to be where it becomes common and lackadaisical. So I do it out of routine, not out of honoring. So, uh, but is there a problem with taking it every day? No, there's not. All right, good, Bishop. How about that, Pastor Nancy? Must know, can I take right. it every day? Now, I agree that, um, you know, wh what communion is, it's a symbolism of what Christ did for us on the cross. So, you know, we can meditate and take communion and be in communion with Jesus by doing the symbolism of taking the, the, the bread and the wine or the bread and the juice. We can do that um, by ourselves, by reading the word and, 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 and um, you know, meditating on that. Or we could do it with others. Um, but it doesn't matter, but you need to do it in reverence and you need to do it with purpose that um, we are honoring the Lord Jesus Christ and giving thanks. The Bible tells us that we give thanks when we uh, do communion and, uh, and we receive him into our hearts. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Hall, I'll give you a choice. Do you want to answer that one or I can go to a new one? Uh, I'd like to answer that yes, if sir. I could. Uh, I'll you. bring a little bit of the Reformed perspective into this. Uh, in the Reformed Church, there's a uh, debate over sacraments and ordinances. A sacrament means that you are actually receiving salvation. You're receiving the grace mm. of Christ when you take the elements. An ordinance means that you're uh, uh, doing a symbolic act that represents that. I follow the line of ordinance. Uh, uh, communion is a symbolic act. Uh, but um, it, there are guidelines and uh, ways that we do such things. It's not an anything goes type of thing. I do believe that communion is a, a fellowshipping of the believers. Uh, you don't take communion at home alone. Now, you can be respectful and honoring of God and, and take a f sort of communion at home. But communion itself really is among the fellowship of believers. And it's done with unleavened bread. And I say fruit of the vine because I don't drink alcohol. Uh, so that I don't include wine, but there's no pizza and Coke. There's no, uh, uh, uh Hey, you take yours. I'll take mine. It, Every day is fine. Every gathering is fine. Once a month, I think you can get a little extended out. I know some Baptist churches where it's every quarter. That just seems pretty drawn out to me. But I have been to churches where you do it every Sunday, and it, it loses its meaning over time. So I think there's a, a fine line that you draw there. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.